The new Clash Royale update is right here, right now. I will take a look today with you guys at the new Clash Royale Evolution Mod. Evolution Mod will come into the game at Monday and you will be able to unlock that with like $100 in the shop. $100 in the shop. That's just a joke, guys. Relax. I don't know, but I guess there will be a shop offer for that. But as you guys can see, the background for Elixir, two cycles. So, so you need to cycle the motor twice, and then you will get the evolution mod. Let's kind of take a look at the stats here. As you guys can kind of see, 300 HP almost more with the evolution mod a half. The area damage will still the same, but also the hit speed will be one second less. So the targeting will be way, way faster. And you are kind of like when you're playing against this card, you need to deal with way more pressure. And like the main difference, of course, as you guys can kind of see in the gameplay, every time. Time. The mortar targets a troop, hits the troop, hits the tower, hits the building. A goblin will come out, which is absolutely incredible. For example, the mortar is going to target the tower and hits the tower. You get the normal mortar damage, but also the same thing with the goblin, which always gets two shots on the opponent's tower if the opponent doesn't respond with an extra troop on that. So guys, do you need to cycle the card twice? As I said, let's be a bit more critical about the card. I personally think bringing in the evolution mod that early isn't really too great because mortar is already a win condition. It's a card which is so, so good and clash well. And I just kind of see it as a problem right now with all of the evolutions already unlocked. We got the firecracker, which was already really strong before. And a ton of people are using the firecracker, especially because it's like a more game-changing card compared to the skeletons. Then we got another win condition with the royal giant. Royal giant absolutely incredible strong for so um for so so long um and yeah it's busted it's busted really really needs a nerf and barbarians are kind of underwhelming i mean they're not really working too many decks but they're not really that flexible and of course not people, a ton of people are using this because the card was balanced before bringing in the evolution there so this is kind of my main concern and super so brings in or like making a card evolution for a card which is already really really strong and making it even more annoying and better so i personally think also for competitive play in a duels format where you can just use every single card once there will be mortar rg and hawk in every single deck um so we're just gonna use another mortar here and yeah just like minor mortar control this type of decks which like pat more like me with all of the best players in the world and running they're so successful successful with that and they will be even more successful after the update right these are like completely normal decks i don't really think they will be like freshing up the meta too much i mean they're like some rg decks which are like different um than normally like the rg rage they didn't see that before but overall i would say they're still the same next game play right so we're just gonna go in here for the evolution mortar and i'm just gonna go opposite here the great thing with the evolution mortar is of course there's more hp so that's way 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 better against earthquake at example and the hit speed as i said is a bit faster so also what's really great about this type of card is kind of like the distraction right i was kind of seeing this in some matchups against like a mighty miner decks a mighty miner it's not gonna work he's not gonna work right he always needs to make sure to kill the goblin and this deck which i'm playing here will be deck which will be viable we could also maybe use the hawk instead so i'm just gonna go in here for my eq here eq does a pretty good job here killing the mortar and now i'm just gonna go lock the dark room off here and we are just winning the first game here based off not really the evolution mode because based off the deck is just really great itself and i don't really know why i decided to bring maybe a card like a skeleton barrel before that like maybe a different card which is not really too good right now in the meta um because i just feel like these are cards which you're already seeing. The exciting thing for me about evolutions is like bringing in cards in the meta, in meta play, which you don't see before. But like everybody's already like using Miner. Everybody was using Cracker Hawk before, of course. Now more people are using that. Everybody was using um, Royal Giant before. And I am just gonna go in here for my. Um, uh, I'm just gonna go in here for my Lock, I think. Do I go for the Lock here? No, I'm just no, I'm just gonna chill out. Oh, oh yeah, the, I, I trust my mortar here. I trusted my mortar here. I'm just gonna go for the lock now. I'm just gonna go in here for my uh, delivery lock here, and I can just cycle back to another earthquake. And yeah, kind of just showing like I mean, a card. To be fair, it's pretty boring. So guys, okay, here we directly jump into the next game, and yes, yeah, so. I would say like how would I rate the evolution of the mortar compared to the other one? I would say they're currently it's hard to say, right? Because I think the evolution boy giant and also maybe the firecracker will be nerfed really really soon. I think after nerf, maybe the evolution of the mortar could be the strongest one. Not because I think the evolution itself is like so so busted, so game changing. I just feel like of course it changes a bit. Um of the goblins like getting on top of the tower, getting some maybe chip damage, also on defense, it's getting like way uh, way better. But just like also that it has more HP and it attacks way faster. I think it's like the main concern about this card and also I feel like which is mine like kinda 
I, mean, I would say like minor, my kind of concern about this type of card is like the more defensive gameplay gets supported in class throughout. That means like minor poison cycle with those defensive bullying, like the mortar, the more HP, more ground control at the same time against bridge for next. Bridge spam will never break through this type of card, right? Because you got a goblin there to distract the bandit to um, go into a pack up prince and so on. And this is just absolutely incredible. So the defensive mortar will be absolutely busted. And I just feel like a ton of decks where you may be playing our know, bomb tower cannon. The mortar will be just in there to just have like a more defensive control. So in like hardware decks, why would you play a bomb tower then? You can just use a mortar if you want to, of course. You can still need to decide if you want to pick the evolution crack or not. But I just feel like and when the evolution crank and also the evolution voyage line will get enough it will be the go-to building and also the go-to um, evolution in most of the decks right like of course and royal giant decks is still you're still going to use the royal giant evolution but like if you want to play cycle deck this is the deck you want to play so i'm just going to go for skeletons for goblins here to strike here we kind of need to be careful um so he's just gonna get like one hit on top of the tower, which is like a ton of damage. And also at the same time, the goblin gets two shots normally, but we activate the king tower, so we just took one. So guys, now we guys kind of seeing like the defensive usage of the mortar against the evolution mortar. So we're just gonna go for the offensive evolution mortar. Big spin here decides to go for defensive mortar, and it's like really funny because now the goblin like is getting on top of this. As I said, more HP, it's like way better against Hawk right now because normally the mortar will die from Hawk and Q, but this won't. So this is like really incredible here. He needs to go in for the lock here and look at the Goblin, right? It's like two shots. This is like chipping away and also I feel like Scully King bait decks, just like bait decks in general, swarm decks, they will just be so, so good. So he decides to go in for that. I'm just going to decide to go for poison. I'm just going to go this here. And as you guys can see here, the Mikey Miner gets distracted a lot, which of course in some scenarios is bad, in some scenarios is good, because the Mighty Miner is going to push up. So going to push up, so not really getting a push there. But also at the same time, because it's staying there, it's always in mortar range, and the mortar won't focus the tower. So this is kind of good and bad things. I would say it can be even like more benefit for you guys, like playing like troops like Mighty Miner in there, because it takes so much time for them to kill the goblins and the mortar. Most likely with like something like a log, poison, fireball, maybe another troop like a musketeer will die immediately. So this is kind of, I would say, the good thing about this. That's like kind of only disadvantage the mortar maybe has with that. But now, yeah, as you guys can see here, just like. I feel like it's like so so great of course on offense but also on defense the defensive evolution mod will be so 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 good of course also against lightning troops right giant um golem lightning golem lightning and you always get like this um one goblin out to chip away on the golem and you can kind of get the goblin army and of course lightning doesn't do too well the mortar won't die from lightning is absolutely crazy and this kind of shows how good this card can be so i'm just going to use a musketeer here um so the mortar will come down on the left side and the mortar will first kill this type of spear goblins here, still gets the goblin out and now just about like the goblin spam here. So I'm just going to use my um, goblins here to kind of distract here, which is like really, really interesting. So my mortar hopefully gets on tower soon, this is at least my dream, so I'm just going to go for the second mortar here, of course, also in the combination of the three card cycle, it's absolutely incredible. And I think, I don't know man, like, let me know what you guys think about this card, how would you weigh this card, I feel like. A ton of people won't be really too happy about this because maybe they say the concept is like too um too boring but also at the same time how you want to like make an interesting uh, interesting concept of the mortar so i don't really think this counts but at the same time do do they really need to bring out the mortar evolution now when like the mortar is always also a card like the warrior giant and firecrack as i was saying which is always and really right now prevalent in the meta and it's one of the best cards in clash royale this is it for today's video let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the new card evolution of the mortar will it be played a lot will it be one of the best evolutions or will it suck this is kind of what i want to know let me know in the comment section goodbye peace out Thank you.